Hello and welcome to Raising Your IT IQ. My name is James and this episode is a follow-up to my video on setting up multi-factor authentication, which you can find right here. In this video, I'm going to break it down into two sections, adding multiple devices to the Authenticator app and how to use your secondary authentication method to sign in. So let's start with adding multiple devices to the Authenticator. Now, this is useful if you want to log into your student account and your phone might be in the other room, but you have maybe your iPad on you. This process is also necessary if you recently upgraded your phone as long as you have the same phone number. Uh, and it's a pretty simple process and I'll show you how to do that now. The first thing we wanna do is after we log into the student portal, we're gonna click on email and this will take us to Outlook. And then we wanna click on your profile up here at the top right. You wanna click on view account and then you wanna click on Security info and click on update info. And you just sign into your account again. And so right here, I want to add a sign in method. So I just click on add sign in method. I'm going to choose authenticator app. I'm going to click on add. So just like we did in the last video on the iPhone, I'm going to download and install the Microsoft Authenticator app. I already have it on my iPad. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to unlock it. Now back on the computer, I'm going to click on next. And then on the iPad, I'm going to click on the plus button at the top right. Then I'm going to click on work or school account. And then on the computer, I'm going to press next. And now I'm going to scan the QR code. So I'll tap on scan QR code. It brings up my camera. So I'll just aim it at the QR code there. And now I just click on next. All right, now it sent me the code. So I'm going to just type it in on my iPad. Tap on yes. I'm going to touch my finger to the fingerprint reader and that's it. Now the iPad is added to my authentication list. So anytime I want to log in, it's going to send me a code to my phone and my iPad at the same time. So if I don't have my phone with me, I can do it on the iPad. If I don't have my iPad with me, I can do it on the phone. Now let's talk about using the second method of authentication. What if you've got a new phone and your old one was the only device you had uh, the authenticator on? Well, as long as you still have the same phone number, you can easily add the app to your new phone. So I'm going to sign into my student account here and it's going to send me the code. Well, if I have a new phone, I can't do the code. So what I'm going to do is click on, I can't use my Microsoft Authenticator app right now. I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to select my secondary method, which is phone call. So I'm just going to have it call me. Okay, so now it's calling my phone and I'm going to go ahead and answer it. If you are trying to sign in, press the pound key to finish signing in. Okay, so now I'm just going to press the pound key. Your sign in was successfully verified. Goodbye. And that's how you use the secondary method. Now to add your new phone to the Authenticator app, all you have to do is just sign into your email and you'll do the same thing that we did with the iPad earlier in the video. Now, if you got a new phone, new number, and you don't have the app set up on any other device, you'll need to call the IT service desk at 561-868-4000 and they'll reset the multi-factor authentication for you. And then you can go ahead and reset up everything uh, just as in the previous video that I did. And that's all there is to it. And you can add multiple devices or as many devices as you need. I feel like two is probably enough for most people. And that's what I usually stick with. But just know that you do have the option of adding more if you need to. And there you have it. It is that simple to add the Authenticator app to an extra device. Now, if you found this video helpful, please consider becoming a subscriber of our YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And there you can find a playlist with all the previous episodes of Raising Your ITIQ. And thank you so much for watching. My name is James, and I'll see you in the next one.